week's chapter of Bleach, Toshiro Hitsugaya and Gerard Valkyrie begin their ice-cold battle, and Hoshwolf questions the loyalty of Uryu Ishida, when suddenly, at the very end of the chapter, we get the arrival of Ichigo Korosaki. While I don't think this was a bad chapter of Bleach, my biggest complaint with it has to be the fact that it made it seem like, from the title of the chapter, this entire one was going to be all about Hitsugaya, fighting against Gerard Valkyrie. That is not the case. Their battle takes place over the course of about four to five pages, and they don't really do much with it. Really, it's just the beginning of their battle. They haven't even displayed their super secret trump card abilities, and this is Bleach, so you know that's going to happen eventually. Despite the fact that their battle was cut short and we're not even going away to the other events, there were some pretty cool things this week. We actually got this small flashback sequence which involved the character of Uryu Ishida. You remember that guy, right? Yeah, he finally decided to pop up in this week's chapter. And in the flashback, there's this sequence where he's a young kid and he runs into his father who's performing this autopsy on his mother. And apparently he's been doing this for an extended period of time, which is definitely going to mess up anybody's mind, especially when they're a young child, just like Oryu Ishida, and that's when he decided that he did not want to be a doctor, mostly because he was turned off by it, by all of the events of his childhood, and seeing his father obsess over performing an autopsy on his dead mother. It's a really messed up sequence, but honestly, I appreciated it. I also love the fact that it was a flashback that went by pretty damn quick. There was also a small sequence with him and Ichigo just talking during their school days, mentioning the fact that both of their fathers are indeed doctors. Of course, Ichigo's being a little more absent-minded, but anybody who's a fan of Bleach definitely knows what that's all about. The biggest thing about this chapter, aside from the, you know, jerking us off about the whole Hitsugai and Gerard Valkyrie thing at the beginning, is that we have Hoshwall finally returning, and is it just me, or is he just looking for a fight? This guy looks like he is totally wanting to fight with somebody, and I think that's completely different from what we've seen from the character previously, where he's an incredibly passive, almost passive-aggressive type character, and now he is just ready to kick all sorts of ass, and that's because, of course, he has the powers of the Quincy leader currently, and he can see into the future, and he sees that Ishida is actually going to betray them, so they start to fight until suddenly it is interrupted by the arrival of Ichigo Korosaki, and I cannot wait to see what Ishida is going to do here. Is he going to drop this whole facade and join his friends so that they can stop the Quincy's, or is he going to try and convince Hoshwolf that he's not trying to betray them, and that he might actually end up fighting against Ichigo? I don't want it to go that route at all. I don't want some sort of cheap Naruto versus Sasuke kind of rip-off story going on here, and I don't think that's going to happen. It just seems very out of character for Ishida, but also, he's got a plan that is very secret, and I'm not sure what it involves, but apparently it involves dropping these little slips of paper all over the entire place, which has something to do with his Quincy powers. It's all completely up in the air. So, what's the rundown on this week's chapter of Bleach. This one right here was pretty good. It wasn't the chapter that I was hoping for. I was really hoping that, again, there would be just a little more focus on things that were going on. You know, they always manage to just go to all these different events, and the fact that the chapter had, like, Frost in the title, and it was all about Hitsugaya and his ice powers, like, oh, this is gonna be a beastly chapter. No, it's basically just the same stuff that we've seen before. Gerard Valkyrie just being a giant, smashing everything around him, must smash, and then occasionally getting frozen by Hitsugaya's powers. But hey, fans of Momo Hinamori are gonna get a nice cameo this week, and it also confirms that Shinji is the mayor of Strugglesville. And what a disappointment it is to see a character snubbed out like that. Shinji is one of those characters who still, I don't believe, has lived up to his full potential. We still haven't really seen what he could truly do. I mean, we've seen his abilities and we've seen him fight before, but I still feel that, like, every single time he gets ready to fight, something really catastrophic happens that prevents him from actually joining in on the battle, or someone more powerful shows up, and frankly, that kind of gets under my skin just a little bit. That being said, despite the fact that this week's title had uh, Frost in it, this one really is all about Ishida this week. Just reminding us that yes, he does exist, and yes, he has some sort of real crazy plan, which probably is going to involve taking down all of the Quincy's from the inside. I'm not sure how he's going to pull that off, and I don't think he wants Ichigo's help. I don't think he wants to get him involved. 
almost as if he's getting into some sort of like suicide-esque mission here where there's no coming back and he feels that Ichigo just shouldn't have to get involved in any of this. That being said, there is probably going to be a big confrontation between these characters. Maybe they're both going to team up against Hoshwolf. I think that would be pretty awesome. Uh, like I said though, Hoshwolf, that was probably one of the more interesting things, uh, his character. Seeing him in a very different light, it's not only did he take on the powers of the Quincy King, but he also seems to be sort of adapting a little bit of his personality. Maybe it's because he has all of this power now and he doesn't have to worry. I'm not really sure, but it's actually kind of jarring to see that happen. On the technical side of things, artwork looked pretty decent this week. There were a few action scenes at the beginning. Toshiro activating his Bankai for the umpteenth time in the series. Maybe we'll see a new technique from the character. Maybe not. We're just going to have to wait and see. The biggest things about this week's chapter are definitely those flashback sequences, which involve Ryuken Ishida and his son, of course, and their dead mother, and the arrival of Ichigo. That's definitely the biggest thing about this chapter. But again, like most chapters of Bleach, I read this one in like two minutes. Like, it just flew right by and honestly i wish they would sort of pump the brakes a little bit and put a little more focus in their storytelling that being said i was still entertained by this week's chapter and i still think it is a pretty solid read not quite what i was looking for but still pretty decent for any bleach fan so i'm gonna give this week's chapter a three out of five i thought it was just sort of an average chapter but i can't wait to see where they're going from here they're definitely planting the seeds for something pretty awesome in the future that being said I want to hear from you guys. Did you read this week's chapter of Bleach? What did you think about it? Please tell me in the comments section below. What do you want to see in the battle between Toshiro Hitsugaya and Gerard Valkyrie? And what's the deal with Ishido? What exactly is his secret plan? Do you think that he's actually going to fight against Ichigo? Do you think they're going to end up teaming up? Does Hoshwalf know something that we don't know? Please tell me your comments and your theories in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. You guys should also check out our weekly podcast show, The Powerful Nerdcast. It's really awesome. We talk about anime and movies and pretty much anything we want. So make sure to check that out. It's really awesome. You can also download that show for free at iTunes. So make sure to look for that. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always, stay dandy, baby.